Hello guys, it's Sledge here, and welcome to my very first Minecraft tutorial. And today I am showcasing the simple, efficient, compact cow farm. This cow farm has four breeder cow locations, and each location can hold up to around 20 cows apiece. I prefer the number 16, which will be a total from anywhere to 64 cows to 80 cows which means when you breed them anywhere from 32 to 40 calves. Basically the way this farm works, you flip this lever, these cows swim up, you go ahead and feed them everything you got, you go ahead and breed all these cows, make all the cow babies, you flip this lever when you're done, all the cows that are bred flow in this water stream and eventually collect down here and then this lava turns on, and when these baby cows grow up, they they get a little warm. Let's just say they get a little warm, and when they die, I mean, when they're harvested, their drops will flow right into this chest here. This farm fits into a 4x11x12 by by blueprint. The redstone is insanely compact, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to build it. First things first, you want to go find your center. The center for me is going to be right here, and it's going to be a chest. Then I'm going to bring a hopper into the back of the chest, then a hopper into each side of that hopper. Now that I've got that, I pick my first block, which is going to be cyan terracotta. You want to use a block that does not burn by lava. Trust me, you're, you'll want to make sure you do that. And then I place signs on those three blocks. And then a dispenser on top of those three blocks, each with a lava bucket inside. Now that we got that, we want to bring this out. Three more blocks on each side. And then bring this up 11 blocks total. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Want to do that on both sides. All right, we got that. Now bring it across. Boom. We can count. All right, then fill all of this in with the same block. Make sure that it's not a block that can be burned, so no wood. Do not do wood. You'll regret it, trust me. Trust me, I've been there, done that. Okay, and now you want to build this frame. Two blocks thick, sort of a square shape. You want to do that on both sides. And then you want to go ahead and place iron bars here and here. Now that you got this place, you want to go ahead and bring these two sides all the way up to the very top. To the point where you're flush with the backdrop on both sides a lot of this rep is repetitive because it's a symmetrical build we're going to go ahead and go all the way up there and next thing you want to do is three blocks right here you want to leave a gap of three and then build your floor this is going to be the floor where you stand on and the next thing is you want to punch a hole in every other block with four open blocks in these blocks, you want to go ahead and place your dispenser down two blocks and make sure that it's facing up. That's very important. Go ahead and fill these with water buckets. And then you want to place a sign on each side of the dispenser. Five signs in total, as you can see. Next thing is, you want to go ahead and fill all this in with glass. But when you reach this level, right here, right here, you want to go ahead and place a sign here. And then go ahead and get your water stream in. Now that you've done that, you want to go ahead and build this all the way up. Which is kind of hard because you have something above you, so. Oops, don't do that. 
All right, fill this all the way in. Simple as that. Now you basically got the looks of it. Now the next thing you got to do is the very, very complicated redstone. Trust me, it's not complicated. Don't be scared. Okay, so first things first, you want to decide your lever location. Mine is here. Uh, it's kind of important that you put it here. Just being honest. The top bucket is water the bottom bucket actually the top bucket's lava ha 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 derp all right now the back here this is where the lever is the lever is on this block so you want to place a block below that with a redstone piece above it now you want to place a redstone torch off the side of that block and you want to place hoppers down here and you want to make sure that they feed into each other. And now on this hopper, you want to go ahead and place 32 items of your choice. It does not matter. I'm using iron bars. And then what you want to do is take your handy dandy. Oh, no, I don't have it. Okay. Uh, observer block. And go ahead and place it into this torch. So the face is facing this torch. And I guess you could say the buttholes on this side. All right. Then you want to bring this into a repeater. Make sure the block you place it on is a half slab. That is very important. It won't work if you don't. Then you want a block here, a block under that redstone dust here. You want to break this block, this block, this block, and this block. Diagonal from the block you just placed the redstone on and then every other block. Then you want a repeater here, a repeater here, a repeater here, a repeater here. Go ahead and place stone brick all the way across. You're going to need to place an extra stone brick on top of this block here. Basically bring the redstone all the way across. And then what you want to do is on the other side, you want to bring a comparator off of this hopper. This comparator will go straight into a block, then straight into a repeater, straight into another block. Then you want to a zerper block right under that so that you can place redstone. This repeater powers the redstone, which triggers the observer, which powers this block, which ends up powering this redstone. I know, kind of complicated, right? but it's really not. Then you bring this all the way across to power those dispensers. You're like, wait, why is the lava not on? It's obviously on the lava switch. Well, we're not done yet. We need to use a button or really anything that can power this redstone and just pulse it. Now this works. So basically when we press this button or this lever, the, lo the water turns on, the lava turns off. We flip it again. It takes a while, but it will toggle the lava back on. Boom. We're done. Now, this is when you would want to fill this with your cows. I prefer 16 cows, but you can pretty much do, you can get away with 20. I say 20 is probably the max because the entity cramming that was introduced in Minecraft 1.11 only allows for 24 entities in one spot. So basically, I think 20 is about as high as you can go. Because when you breed them, there's going to be some baby cows in there with your normal cows. So anything higher than 20 would be risking killing your breeder cows. You don't want that. So I stay on the safe side. I use 16. And plus 16 in each spot will give you 64 cows. So, yeah. Now basically, this means you're done. You're completed. But what I like to do, or what I did in my survival world, and why I built this so close, is I mirror this farm so I can have two of them. And basically what I do is go ahead and create a walkway between these two farms so that I have more space to run. This is not... 
necessarily need it. But this is what I like to do. Now you got all this spot to run up here, and you're just like, how do you even get up here? Well, what you could do is ladders. That's how I do it in my world. Just ladders on the side here. And you know you got your way of getting up on both sides. And you got this platform. I go ahead and put a lot of my storage, especially my wheat here. And then I'll put, you know, my storage for my cows right down here. As you can see, we've got two farms here and we're going to be absolutely set. And if you build this, you'll be absolutely set too. Thank you for watching. I hope this cow farm helps you in your survival world. Keeps you fed for a very long time. Thank you for watching.